Hello and welcome to the Art Directors Club of Switzerland. My name is Martin Spillman, board member of the Swiss Art Directors Club, as well as the vice president of the European Art Directors Club. Unfortunately, Switzerland isn't a member of the European Union yet, but we are a proud member of the Art Directors Club of Europe. Today, we'd like to share with you one great campaign of this year's national award presented to you by its creators, the advertising agency Neutral. Neutral is perceived as a pioneer in brand building, not only by advertising, but by design, architecture, science, and last but not least, by art. How to strategize brands in the age of confusion. Since 2001, we are pioneers in involving the most influential, activistic and future-minded fields in contemporary creativity. So to speak, architecture, art, design, fashion, but also science and technology. The Hornbach campaign is all about the democratization of art and also the creative empowerment of the Hornbach client. We think that everybody should have access to contemporary art. So what we did is we asked artist Ai Weiwei to create a work of art with material from do-it-yourself retailer Hornbach. The result is a fabulous artwork. Everyone can build themselves with a manual, which we also produced. The response was overwhelming. In the first two weeks, we reached over 50 million people with PR alone. As we always say, Ai Weiwei speaks his own truth. We like to say that we work at the intersection of technology and humanity. I like to quote Demna Guazalia, who says, we must replace brand identity with human identity. In the beginning, some 20 years ago, only the bravest brands would work with us. Our first big client was Zurich Insurance. We created a campaign targeting the CFOs and CEOs of the largest European companies. Our campaign idea was called the next three years. We asked experts from sociology, business, technology, lifestyle, art, creative industry and science. What will happen in your field of expertise in the next three years? Art is always in a way in advance of the Zeitgeist. Huh? And if I think back in the 80s, the cynicism we had in art is now characteristic of politics. The middle class is a class that is no longer the middle class that we thought about in the period around, you know, before the World War II and after World War II. The middle class is splitting into a much richer highly professional, often a transnational professional class. Uh, not so much an anti-Atlantic, but a non-Atlantic or post-Atlantic connection uh, that could connect Europe to uh, Russia, to China, to India. The idea of trust, that design can promote this, I think this is one of the most important issues in providing uh, an atmosphere of safety, an atmosphere of reassurance. We work with artists because we want to be at the forefront of creativity and authenticity. We want sustainable ideas because we want to live in a better world. I know it sounds pretentious, but it's true. Cartier is known for its affinity and closeness to the world of contemporary art. It's also known for its red écran, the iconic jewelry box. What we did is we invited a series of creatives and created a beautiful campaign. We had Torbjörn Rödland, Sarah Morris, Shigeru Ban, the Bullrelek brothers, David Trigley, and many more. Brand building has a simple mantra. Become who you are. Manky wool is no good to us because we've got really high standards. Design is really very important. 
Everything needs to have a design. But we always get good write-ups in the magazines because they all know how good we are and how rubbish everyone else is. And how probably everyone else should be banned from making jumpers. And they can just make socks. Because they're crap. Pringle of Scotland was all about the rebirth of this iconic Scottish knitwear brand. We worked with Scottish creatives exclusively, with David Shrigley, Douglas Gordon, Liam Gillick, with the iconic Tilda Swinton. Insignificant images. It's the age of confusion, and it's okay to be confused. Change is happening at super speed. The breakdown of consensus-based reality has pushed us faster and further into the 21st century. The strongest changes, however, are invisible. It's the metadata and it's the virus. Humans exist within an endless, short-term, dopamine-driven feedback loop. It's stressful. Ergo, brands need to be calm, peaceful, honest, and human. I don't think art would necessarily make the, war, uh, the world become a better place. But I do think art can make a human being become a better human. <laughs>